I'm going to demonstrate how easy it is to use the OptiGrill Elite um, and combine it with the Crock-Pot Express. Um, a very powerful combination, very simple to use, and you can cook gourmet meals with very little effort whatsoever and very little knowledge. So uh, let's get started. First I have, as for veggies, some parboiled potatoes, some greens, so we have runner beans, broccoli and green beans. There's about two cups of water in there, so that's ready to go. We then have our OptiGrill Elite, so we switch that on by pressing the power button. We then take it across to the beef setting. We then have OK, and you can see it's heating. Now with this, we have an extra option. I'll switch this off. We have an extra option for frozen. So I'm going to be cooking lamb chops and you can see frozen. Now, the brilliant thing about this is this will cook and it will defrost at the same time using the same appliance, put it on two buttons and we're good to go. So we have defrost and beef. I think I might even take a seat. Now it gives you the status on the screen, it just simply says wait, reheating in progress, and you've got a status arrow which tells you precisely what's happening. Whilst we're waiting for that to heat up, with the extras, bit of basic as the gravy, bit of rosemary topped off in there, and a stick of butter with a peeler, adding to the veggies. The veggies are pre-prepared, so there are a portion or a pack of green beans and a portion or a pack of runner beans and a broccoli. Um, simply slice them and they were ready to go. The Crock-Pot Express and the OptiGrill Elite are unbelievable tools for the kitchen. They take all of the effort out, they take all of the stress and all of the knowledge that you could possibly need to cook um, is taken care of with the appliances. With the Crock-Pot Express, I tend to only use the manual option, um, although you can probably see there are a lot of buttons on here. Um, the manual option is the only one I tend to use, which is this one here, or in a very rare occasion, the saute or the browning, which will act as a frying pan. Um, the manual mode acts as a pressure cooker. So with that, I can press manual. And you can see the timing on the screen. We have five. We want to set it to three minutes. So that's three minutes. And when I'm ready, we can simply put the lid on like so. We have two features here. On the lid, you have vent and lock. That stops the steam and allows the pressure to build. So we want lock, and you can see here that the arrow lines up with the unlock. That simply comes across and locks in, and we're ready to go. So we just press start. That will begin to heat, and that will start to boil. The water will turn to steam, and that will create the pressure, which will in turn cook the vegetables. The grill's heating, but the arrow's gradually working its way around to ready. So we're just waiting for the cue. Usually cooking and preparation and things are quite off-putting because of the fact that there's a lot of rushing, 
has a lot of spontaneous things like cutting and preparing, frying, using lots of pans and knowing when to time things, which makes it a little bit trickier and um, a bit more off-putting. With these appliances, they work hand in hand, really. They work together, obviously, for the veggies and for the meat, and they uh, kind of self-manage the cooking process. So the Niara is nearly there, just waiting for the queue to add the lamb chops, which are frozen. The frozen icon came up here and the button was here. So I can see that's in defrost mode. Nearly there. So you can hear the cue now. It says on the screen, insert your food. So these are indeed frozen. One, two, three, four, Okay, so I have eight lamb chops about, about ready. So I can drop the lid down. And it's calculating the thickness. Now it's saying start of cooking. So there's a little arrow there saying it's still raw, giving the blue arrow. You can see at the same time the crock pot is still in the heating process. But that will also give a cue and it will begin to time out. So it will start the timer once it's up to temperature. It does take a bit of time to come up to the process. But once it comes up to the full heat, the time will kick in and it will start cooking. The great thing with these is you can literally kind of leave them. You don't have to do anything at all. They'll tell you when they're ready. That's completely hands off. So this has come into blue, which is uh, kind of the rarest of rare. And it gives you a precise time. So blue in one minute, 40 seconds. Not to mention it's also defrosting as well. So no worries about pre defrosting or anything, just straight out of the freezer, straight onto the grill, good to go. We also have the drip tray here, so any of the drippings, the fats and the oils, etc., will just neatly collect them here. Everything you have, the pans and the drip tray, can be removed and can go straight into the dishwasher. So it's nice and simple, or can go into a bowl of soapy water. Unlike the grills previously, where you can't remove the plates and it's very difficult to wash off the grills, which makes it quite a lot of effort and a little bit off putting with some of the dishes. Incredible how many things you can actually cook with these appliances. Um, I use the Crock-Pot Express on a daily basis. Um, it's an absolute game changer for me. I use it all the time. Uh, it takes all the stress out of cooking and the amount of recipes I've found now to be able to cook with are incredible. My cooking game has improved tenfold. 
and it's now very very simple to cook. So you can see it's gone round from blue, which is uh, the setting going on to rare. And we can see the arrow goes from blue to yellow, which is the rare. You've then got your medium option, which is your orange. You've then got your well done, which is your red. And the arrow's moving around. It gives you a specific, precise time of 35 seconds until it goes through to medium. It's in the rare zone at the moment. With lamb, any kind of steak, cut meat, you just choose um, beef and it will, um, it will cook it by measuring the thickness. The other great thing with this is you get the cooking um, griddle, which gives you the, the, the sear. You can see the steam starting to come out of the, the, the crock pot express now. That means it's just about coming up to temperature. Should begin to chime in at about three minutes. That's just said it's become, it's done rare and it's just going into the medium phase. So we're looking for sort of medium-ish, medium well done. So it's going to be 2 minutes 25 until it's on the cusp of well done. Let's go into the medium cooking phase now. You may have noticed how hands off this process is. It's pretty much set and forget. All I have to do is once it's ready, serve it. The other thing that's great with the OptiGrill Elite, which is uh, meant to be a grill, but it can also be a baking option, and it means that you can then make cakes, you can use it as a miniature oven. So in a compact space, for example, if you have maybe a metre squared, you can function in most cases like a full kitchen, um, with the exception of things like the, the basin, etc, etc, and the washing up sort of thing. Um, but that said, the amount of things and the amount of features these cookers have, you can do, you can cook most things, again, with very little effort, hands off. So it's coming through to 50 seconds, 49, through to well done. Once it's well done, I've got the plates at the ready. I can begin to think about serving them. So this is just coming up to heat now. You can see the pressure is really starting to ramp up the steam coming from the steam bit. Obviously I've set that to lock, which means that it's going to hold the pressure into the actual unit, which allows it to build the pressure, and that's how it cooks. So that's just stopped, so that's just maintained the pressure. A lot of oil coming out, a lot of fat going straight into the drip tray, and we're at medium, so we pretty want Pretty much want it to go a little bit into medium for my preference but you can take it out whenever it suits um, four minutes 24 it's stating for well done i think that i'm probably going to take this out in about 20 seconds So you can see here, that's just come up to pressure. It's now starting to count down from three minutes. So we've got three minutes until it's ready to pressure release. And so, so we're into about our well done phase. I think I'm happy with that, lift the grill. 
That looks good. And I think I will lay that on for a little bit longer. Just by eye, I have a look and check my preference. It's up to you as to when you want to actually remove it from the grill. That's saying three minutes 20 till well done. I may or may not take it to the full three minutes. I'll have to just lift the lid and see. That's gone through to two minutes now. So it looks like everything will line up really well. There's no stress about when obviously you cook vegetables and you cook meat sort of thing. You have to try and time it to the same time when you cook things, when they obviously cook at different rates. This in theory, we're sure that well, everything cooks at the same time, same rate, which is fantastic. That's come to one minute now. Come up well done at one minute fifty. Take that off now, let's have a look. Looking good. That's beat to say it's ready. So I can just turn the dial, bring the pressure off. lamb chops. Three lamb chops. You can also see the sear marks on here. So I can bring that down and that simply gets switched off. Press the power. Okay, switch off the grill. Okay, so that's gone to keep warm now. Um, I don't need to keep warm, so I can start stop that. And the pressure's released. So I can simply turn it from unlocked, lift it, and our veggies are good to go. Green beans. Well, 
ton of beans. Then you have potatoes, you see they were parboiled and steamed along with the vegetables. For the butter on the greens, use a peeler. Or not in this case. See, lamb chops, potatoes, runner beans, green beans, broccoli, move on to the gravy. That's three meal portions served up, minimal fuss, minimal hassle, minimal effort, lamb chops, broccoli, green beans, runner beans and potatoes using two appliances, maybe a kettle to make up the gravy, a bit of butter and that's done.